Does that mean we're ready? Yes, Linda. We're ready. Happy Easter to everybody. And a good morning to you all. To on you a, all. On a lovely Sunday morning. I'm, I'm going to tell you <laughs> right now. I'm uh, not. I'm not in the mood to do this. Okay. Why, Linda? I don't know. This. I just. Uh, I don't know. I got up at four o'clock this morning because I couldn't wait to start doing the preparation. You know, we do prep for the show. The sound is okay? good, Linda. The sound is good. Thank you, everybody. And uh, let's get right to it. We uh, on a sad note of a bit. We have sad uh, notes. Yeah. You know, well, Austin Meadows uh, has stepped away from the Detroit Tigers. <clears throat> to focus on his mental health, he missed the final month of last year for the same reason. Many of us really uh, took a shot with Austin Meadows, but uh, and we don't realize unless it's a bad ankle or a bad knee or some, or an oblique, <clears throat> we don't really take into account how serious the um, mental health part can be. Uh, I know on our <coughs> excuse me. Yeah, get your oh. get your stuff right. <coughs> I got gotcha. you. Go ahead. I know on our on our previous our last road trip that lasted a week. I won't say I had mental health problems, but uh, I was not comfortable. And Austin Meadows feeling the same way. So let's okay. hope Austin Meadows gets back in the swing of things. I just wonder if this is a. Uh, I don't know. I won't even go there. I'm not going to go there. It's a real thing. Mental health is a real thing. But I honestly feel, personally, that the mental health issue has gotten progressively worse in this country over Uh, the last four or five years. Of course it has. But why? That's the question. And it gets very political, so I'm just going to back out of this No, it's not political. It's COVID. Forget it's COVID. People don't know what to do. Many of us were scared for the first time, and I don't want to get into the whole thing. No, I agree with you, but I don't... Okay, so move that, on. Let's move on. It is a, on. It's a situation where it's nice to see that people are, it's not such a, you know, like, what? what's the word? A I, stigma? I stigma? Yeah, not a stigma. It's, it's a problem. Okay, good morning to Boston Paul, <laughs> Brewer Jim, Daniel Ferrara, James Capleon, Mal Pal, Laura. Good morning to you, man. Uh, who else we got uh, in the chat room? Right? Rota Lady, Rota that's Lady me. Rota Lady is you, SM King Turd, Tommy Johnson, Triple Play. Thank you all for being here. Now, for well, those let's, of you, uh, I'm talking. <laughs> for those of you who are, are uh, counting on the Phillies, you, you, know, you, you got Reese Hoskins, we know about him. But Hall is going to be, uh, Derek Hall is, uh, he started five of the Phillies' first six games. Then he suffered a thumb injury last week. Uh, He will require, he tore a ligament and will require surgery. So the first crack uh, to take his spot will fall to Cody Clemens. Uh, And let's see about that. So uh, Clemens got the nod at first base against Hunter Green. Uh, Against Southpaws, it looks like the Phillies will slide Alec Bohm. Over to third base, turning in Edmundo Sosa or Josh Harrison at the hot corner, and let's see what happens. And Kingery could get a spot for a multi-positional bench role. Not telling everybody to go looking at Kingery. We skipped a bunch of notes. Yes, I know we did. I, it's sometimes I make a decision. Okay, so I'll, any any notes that we skipped, I'll I'll do it tomorrow. Or we'll come back because we have more than uh, we could ever imagine All to right. talk about that. What are you looking for? Well, I'm looking for the next note that you want okay, to talk Travis about. Okay, Travis Torno suffered a concussion, and he will go on the injured list. So now uh, it's crazy. And then all you white, Daniel Ferrara, you here? The White Sox. <laughs> Don't close your eyes. Put your hand on your forehead. Make believe what's wrong. Why are you yelling at me again? I'm not. Go. Let's go to the... Stop w- fucking yelling at me. Okay, go ahead. The White Sox lead the league in total bases with 138, and they're last in ERA. What? Yes. They're last the- year was exactly the opposite. Really? Yes. This White Sox team is really crazy. But you want to hear something really crazy? 
Now, listen, you have to concentrate. And by the way, I apologize. And I love you very much, okay? Now, here's the deal. Listen to this. Darren Ruff is re-signing with the Giants on a minor league deal. And that's fine. That's good. So, if you think about it, San Francisco essentially got J.D. Davis, Thomas Zaspuki, and two prospects, and Darren Ruff in exchange for who? Darren Ruff. Darren Ruff. That's right. That's like the only player ever to be traded for himself. Did you ever hear about that one? In, in Major League history, there was one player traded for himself. Did you ever hear about that? No. Harry Cheedy was a catcher for the Mets, was traded for a player to be named later. You know who the player was? Harry Cheedy. Well, yeah, that's what, I mean, <laughs> yeah, I guess I could guess. All right, let's get into it. All right, it. Will Smith played 25 games last year at DH. He hit 330 with a 426 on base percentage, a 1.162 OPS, nine home runs, six doubles, two triples in 108 plate appearances. He played 108 games at catcher and he hit 242 with a 320 on base percentage, 15 homers, 20 stolen bases, one triple in 465 plate appearances. Will Smith is becoming quite a fantasy star. But I don't know what the point of this note is. Does he hit better? I mean, he played 25 games and 108 plate appearances at DH, and he played 465 plate appearances and 108 games as catcher. And, of course, he hit. His batting average was a lot lower at catcher, but he certainly hit way more home runs, stole or didn't steal bases, but hit 20 doubles. I mean, I don't know the point of this. The point is... Many players are affected by defense. Now, his defensive situation, the catcher, uh, he's been critical. They've been critical. Sometimes when you concentrate on your defense, you lose a little bit from your offense. And in this case... So he's better at DH, that's the point? Yeah, he's batting 2-4, okay. and he doesn't have so to worry Buxton, about catching. So is Buxton, by the way. There is many... There are many players. And by so the, the way, Yankees put Donaldson on the 10-day injured list because he's got a hamstring strain, and Jonathan Loizaga on the 15-day injured list with right elbow inflammation, and they recalled Johnny Brito and Willie Calhoun. You mentioned Buxton's name? I like Buxton. <laughs> you is, know I love watching okay. Buxton. I don't have him on any teams. In but. his last 162 games, you got that? That's equivalent to... His last season, 162 games. How many home runs has Byron Buxton hit? Don't go anywhere. Hold on, I'm coming right back. How I, many home you runs? You can't is, ask me because I already know the answer. Ask the chat room. Oh, ask the chat room. How many home runs has Buxton hit over his last 162 games? Yes, equivalent That's, to a season. Uh, so there you go. The Yankees have, have recalled Johnny Brito. I said this. And Willie Calhoun, but... Uh, and they transferred Tommy Canale to the 60-day list, so we'll see what happens there. Now, This you is know, a lame one. What, slow starts? Yeah, it's just, who cares I think it? this is fantastic because as a Met fan, you know, you hear, uh, uh, Met fans, start Volpe, put Volpe in, put Volpe in, put this guy in. But He's a Yankee. It doesn't matter, in New York. Uh, everybody's talking about put this player in, put that player in, and then when they get off to a slow start, take the bum out. Take the bum out. That's that's just baseball. Put them in, take them out. But here are some other players who started off very slow in their major league career, and you'll know their names. Julio Rodriguez, his first seven games was three for 25. Adley Rushman, his first seven games. Five for 28. 179 batting average. Yeah, well, people could figure that out. Bobby Witt, his first game, seven games. Three for 28. You're only Spencer Torkelson. Three well, for 20. He's still bad, dude. Three for 20. C.J. Abrams, two for 25. Jared Kalenic, five for 29. Look at all these players who will turn out to be extraordinarily good players. In their first seven games, they stink up the joint. I don't know, man. Turkelson's a question. Kalenic's a question. How about if I but throw But Don a... Mattingly, after his first seven <laughs> yeah, games, right. he batted 167. That's right. With two hits. The only one who's been consistent from start to finish has been Chris Gallo. There you go. And King App. Good morning to you all. Okay. So, 
Talk about players off to a slow start. I predict this is going to happen. Met fans will get to see the team's top prospect this weekend. Well, you don't have to guess because Buck Showalter already said that Alvarez will be behind the plate today. That's right. Good luck on that. I have him on a couple teams, and in fantasy, he doesn't qualify as catcher yet. But, obviously, I thought something of him to draft him in, in the very late rounds of my drafts. But, still, I have a lot of question marks about this guy because he wasn't only bad in the majors. He has, he's got some plate discipline problems, and we'll see how it plans out in the majors. And he, he hit 167 last year, so... Anyways, <clears throat> so sometimes you have to let your minor league stars develop. That's part of baseball. Well, Having... they have. He's ready to come up. Mm -hmm. okay. He's been developing for several years now. How many people do you know who bet uh, on the Tampa race? I don't know what they... I mean, they're great. Their run differential all last season, 162 games, was plus 52. Guess what their run differential is right now? <laughs> After six, eight games. It's plus, minus 46. No, it's plus 46. Yeah, plus 46. Plus, I mean, they're just killing it. And uh, when they were beating Oakland yesterday, they scored a, a major league best 62 runs. Uh, They've allowed only 18 runs. Yeah. They're 8 0. Every win has been by at least four runs. And I mean, honestly, they, they, they do have the best run differential. Through the first eight games of a season since 1901. Unbelievable. Once And this is their rotation. McClanahan, and once Tyler Glass now returns, so it'll be McClanahan, Glass now, Eflin, Springs, Roos, Rasmussen yep. could be the best rotation in, in baseball. That's right. So uh, Glass now returning from a strained oblique. And they have the most home runs of any team in the first eight games of the season, beating out, well, 2023 this year, Rays have 21. Yeah. Cardinals actually had 23 in 2000. And in 2019, the Dodgers also had 21. But the Rays tied for second for the most home runs in the first eight games of the season. And the teams to win eight straight games by at least four runs at any point. At in any the, point in the season, not just the start yeah, of the season. At any point, 1939 Yankees, 38 Yankees, anyway. Tampa, Do you remember them, the 1938 Yankees? Unholy Toledo and I were at that game. <laughs> we had season tickets. Well, this okay. is a streak of game winners. And, you know, I was. Um, it's too bad that J.R. Matz couldn't be in here because Cincinnati won their fourth game of the season on May 7th last year. But in game 26, they were 4-22. But they were leading Philly with three outs away from their fourth win this year. And then Philadelphia scored three runs in the ninth. So they're just going to have to wait. So right? they could lose the next 20 games and still be better than they were last year. Well, Byron Buxton, I don't see any guesses in the come chat on, room. Guesses. How, how, many, many, yeah. how many home runs has Byron Buxton hit in his last 162 games, a full season? Come on, everybody. Let's get with the Get program. some guesses going, please. Get some guesses. How right. many home runs has Byron Buxton hit over his last 162 games? And that that, that spans his whole career, right? <laughs> I don't know. Everybody's talking about Brandon Belt. I All mean, right. Give me a break. Well, the Dodgers, Noah Syndergaard, there's been a lot of talk about his velocity. And he had a lot of velocity yesterday. But it was exit velocity, okay? It was not oh, pitch really? velocity. <laughs> That's a good one. The Diamondbacks hit eight balls with exit velocity of 98 miles an hour or higher in the first three innings pitched. Now, he also gave up a two-run homer to Geraldo Perdomo, who we're going to talk about. But Perdomo... Oh, yeah, somebody asked to talk about Perdomo, right? We are. We're going to talk about Perdomo. But just keep in mind, Perdomo has 20 home runs and almost 2,000 plate appearances as a pro. And he mm. doesn't... He's just not... We'll talk about him because Boston Paul asked about him and Lenny oh, yeah, and I... Oh, yeah, Boston Paul asked about him. So go ahead, talk about Perdomo. I'm not talking about Perdomo yet. I'm okay. talking about Syndergaard and his velocity. Oh, I see. Okay. I said people are concerned about his his... Fastball velocity. So it reached its peak in 2017. It was 98.3 miles an hour. Right now, it's the lowest it's ever been at 92.7 miles an hour. And over the last 
four or five years since he maxed out his fastball velocity. It's gone down every year since then. Right now, 92.7 is not going to cut it. His ERA is 6.3. His fielding independent percentage is 4.94. So he's he's not having a great start to the season, even though I think he does might have one win. Yeah, but let's, you know, Mal Powell makes a great, great comment in the Gavin chat Gavin Stone will talk about. Okay, but uh, Mal Powell talks about Tampa. Uh Happy Easter, Chris Gallo. Thanks for coming in. May I talk? Suck on it. <laughs> Mal Pop talks about the Tampa 54 home runs by James Capleon to Buxton and 44 by Boston Paul. That's a good guess. Good guess. Two good guesses, by the way. Very good. A little Tampa harder. has played Detroit, Washington, and Oakland. Good point, Mal Pal. That's a great point. That's a great point. Okay? Three of the worst teams in baseball. Nationals, okay. And, of course, the Dodgers suffered their first, uh, you know, look, in the last two games, they've given up 18 runs and 27 hits, 12 extra base hits. So, you know what that equals? In two games. So, the Dodgers have their first losing streak. Right. Now, you know. So, is that their pitching or their defense? It's not their defense. It's just... Well, James Outman hit his third homer of the season. Yep. And the thing is, you know, the Dodgers jumped on Zach Davies for four runs in the first inning. James Outman hit a home run. He's batting three eighty one with three homers and nine RBIs. But the Dodgers lost that game 12-8 to eight because the Diamondbacks just started hitting in the second inning. And moving on from that, they scored 12 runs in that game. So, yes... Zach Davies got crushed, and also Zach Davies diagnosed with a strained oblique that's going to put him on the injured list, so you might want to replace him if you mm-hmm. have him in your fantasy. Okay, and as of a couple of days ago, I don't know if this is true, uh, but American League Central teams are 3-10 and 10 playing in their own ballpark so far this season. <laughs> I mean, it's just not going right. But Andrew McCutcheon. AL Central teams. I'll tell you. We but love him back in Pittsburgh, he don't we? Is, First what home, a great thing they did by bringing him back. Hit his first home run since 2017, and he also... No, he hit his first home run at PNC in a Pirates right. uniform That's since right. 2017. He, he also homered there as a brewer... Uh, last year. Last year, but this is back as a Pirate. McCutcheon's a very underrated player. I just love his... He's a great leader in the clubhouse. Yeah. This is not fantasy relevant, but... The fans deserve something to come and watch in Pittsburgh. They have a beautiful ballpark, and now they have McCutcheon back. And it sold. they literally sold out the park on opening day because McCutcheon was back. Leonard Donaldson, good morning to you, okay? Now, here's the thing about McCutcheon. Is there anybody in the chat room who believes Andrew McCutcheon should be in the Hall of Fame when he retires? Not first ballot. Not but even close. Will and all right. I um, not even close. I think you're probably right. Jose Ramirez is the second player in Cleveland history to begin multiple seasons with hit streaks of nine or more games. And who does he join? Napoleon Lajoie. That's right. <laughs> How about anytime you join Napoleon Lajoie in anything? Do you know who Napoleon is? <laughs> no, that's why I had you pronounce uh, name. He hit 400. Uh, I think it was the last 400 hitter. But uh, Jose Ramirez, the superstar. And the longest hitting streak to start a career at age 20 uh, or younger. I mean, Eddie Murphy did it. Ted Williams did it. Jordan Walker. Has eight games of as an eight game hitting streak. So we do we put as much into this as we put into this this first seven days of the career being just miserable. I don't know. I I don't know. All I know is Jordan Walker. Look, Volpe. <laughs> I Walk- feel like I have something against this poor kid. I want him to do well. I love the fact that he's hitting. He's so going well. to disappoint everybody. He will, and not to say he's not going to have a nice year. He will not be the superstar that people are jumping on right now, okay? That's he what will I think. not be the superstar. But maybe I'm biased because I feel bad for Carlson. No, nope, I don't think so. <laughs> By the way, did you see Gene Carl Stanton's uh, 26th home run at 116 
Uh, this is so interesting. Um, miles per hour. So Stanton has hit now 26 home runs with an exit velocity of 116 miles per hour. Okay, that's just since StatCast started tracking in 2015. But the only other hitter with even more than six is Aaron Judge with 15. Wow. And he, he trumps Aaron Judge by nine. Nine wow. more home runs at 116 miles an hour. That's pretty amazing. I mean, he's older than Aaron Judge, so, you know, you can't count that out. He's but. older than everybody but King Hap. That's what it seems to me. Jeffrey older. Springs, six yes. or more innings pitched, zero earned runs in each of his first two outings this season. Yep. He faced Marcus Stroman and Kyle Freeland. Yep. There were six other pitchers that did this in three straight to start a season since yep. 1901. James and we're Paxton. talking James Paxton, Zimmerman. Jordan Zimmerman. Right? Yeah. You remember Yeah, not, not, um, not Brian. No. Remember Jordan <laughs> Zimmerman? We went I to loved, Washington jo- to get a hat. I loved him until he signed with Detroit. And all they had stunk. was Jordan Zimmerman hats. Okay? No, they, uh, had, they had Ryan Zimmerman. Yeah. Uh, by the way, did, did you want to talk about Perdomo? Yeah. I mean, Boston Paul asked about Perdomo. He went two for four with a two-run home run, a double, and three RBIs. That home run was his first of the season. He leads Arizona right now with seven RBIs in just six games. He's batting four fifty five with a six twenty five on base percentage through 17 plate appearances. Here's the problem. He posted the second lowest weighted runs created plus among hitters with at least 500 plate appearances last season. He only strikes out 20% of the time, but he's in the third percentile average exit velocity and second percentile hard hit rate, and that is going to hurt his batting average, and of course it's going to hurt his power. He's hit six home runs and 554 career plate appearances in the majors, and he stole 10 base. Right now, his batting average on balls in play is 667, and his max hit distance, yes, his hard hit rate has gone up a little bit so far this season, but his max hit distance is like half of what normal hard hit rate batters can hit. He is absolutely not worth thinking that he's going to continue what he's doing. He has seven RBIs right now. That is not going to last because, honestly, he is not a power hitter at all. And, yes, he steals some bases, but he also gets caught stealing too. So, right now, he's nothing more than a fill-in in your lineup, in your fantasy lineup. And don't try to trade him to me, Boston Paul, because I'm not falling for it. 48 <laughs> home runs for for uh, Bro- for B- Byron Buxton in his last 162 games. 48 home runs. Yeah. But I ha- I have something to say. Yeah. A- and uh, I Good. have something to say. Good. Uh, S.M. King Turd. Yay. Talks about a Hall of Fame. I don't know. Is he in the Hall of Fame? Joan Santana in the Hall of Fame? Uh, now, forgive me, but I there was rarely a pitcher that dominated Major League Baseball, like Joan Santana, did for a couple of years. He didn't do it for a long period of time. And like I said, look at fantasy baseball. Look at Joan Santana was a number one pick. He He probably pissed off the media. He was the number one fantasy baseball pitcher for a number of years and that has to be looked at by Major League Baseball because that tells you a big story. If the same pitcher, Yoan Santana, is the number one pitcher for years and years and two, three, four years, you got to consider him a Hall of Famer for that period of time. We're going to the games now, Leonard. Speaking uh, of Buxton, home run yesterday, so did Farmer. Yeah. Three run homers, as a matter of fact, and the Twins beat the Astros 9-3. to So Christian Vasquez and had two RBI singles. Trevor Larnich had two hits mm-hmm. and an RBI, and Joe Ryan, re- Joe Ryan won. And Jordan Alvarez hit a grand Wait. slam, okay? Yeah, the Twins are doing crazy good with their pitching. Oh, are you kidding? The, the that Ast- was Jordan, Jordan Alvarez's third career grand slam, third hardest hit in baseball this season, and... Jordan Alvarez moved into the major league lead with 14 RBIs. Morning to triple play. The That's, Astros were held hitless. I'm saying good morning <laughs> to triple play, and you're interrupting? A, you're, how could you interrupt me? 
Go ahead. Don't give it. She, ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> this should be video. You know, I tell everybody. I tell, uh, don't do video. Well, you know, we should do video, so you can see the middle finger sticking up in the air by Andrea. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> that's it. Go ahead. Last season, the Twins lost all six games to the Astros by a combined thirty-six to eleven runs scored. Okay, now they're six and two. Jeremy Pena, two-run homer in the ninth, and Johan Duran got a second save. The Twins scored four runs in the eighth inning, and they only went, they, it doesn't matter because the Twins, even though they only scored six, they've gone, they've hit six home runs in their first seven games. They still win games because their pitching is out of control. They have the best team ERA in the major leagues, including the Rays. And their starters allowed just five runs in 40 and a third innings over the first seven games. Is that going to last, Leonard? Uh, yeah, it's going to last. This Ryan is- went six innings, three hits, four earned runs, one walk, and ten this strikeouts. Is- oh, this just in. King Hap comes up with a good one. Uh- <laughs> yeah. Mookie uh- Betts. Yeah, good. Gaining eligibility at second base with one more game. King Half is always going to be a Mookie Betts That's bet. a great one. And when Mookie Betts was traded by the Red Sox or let go or what he was traded, he lost all hope for the Red Sox because right. his heart is with Mookie Betts. All right, Tommy Johnston has requested that we do a Lady in the Legend show on video. What do you think? Yes, we have a, we have the tools to do it. All right, we will. Tommy Johnson. That means I have to comb my hair. Yeah, put, you know, yeah. you don't put makeup on. Put clothes on. on. No, that's optional, okay? Put makeup on. Makeup is I pretty good. much just don't wear a lot of makeup nowadays. Oh, uh, okay. When and, you get old, you don't care that much. All right, so <laughs> Alvarez, third career Grand Slam. He, it was a monster drive. Uh, I'll tell you, 116 third, miles an yeah. hour, just like uh, Stanton. Third hardest hit uh, home run in baseball this season. He's got three home runs this year, moving him into the major league lead with 14 RBIs. Okay. The Astros batter struck out 16 times in this series opener and 17 more times in last night's game. Unbelievable. Seven strikeouts in an eight-batter stretch from the sixth to the eighth inning. And Minnesota, you mentioned Minnesota before. Yes, I did. They have the best team ERA in the majors. Their starters allowed five runs in 40 and a third innings over the first seven games. And um, let's see, I have Kenta Maeda and... uh, Move your arm. <laughs> okay. Chaz McCormick moved into the leadoff spot. Jose Altuve broke his thumb. And Pena, uh, I'll okay, tell you Okay, we already what. knew that Jose Altuve broke his thumb yeah. late in spring. But Dusty Baker moved Chaz McCormick into the leadoff spot. Yes. Okay. And that opened up because of Altuve. But that's where he's hitting. And go ahead, Pena... He struck out four times on Friday, and he was moved and punished, moved to the sixth spot. That's right. So here's what we got for Max Kepler, placed on the 10-day injured list prior to the game, and that because his fourth straight absence, and everybody in fantasy would just rather have him go to the injured list than be sitting on the bench for four straight games. So that's a good thing for Max Kepler managers so they can actually replace him today joey gallo was also held out with soreness in his right side no telling if he's going to hit the injured list brian byron buxton is oh, yeah don't forget exclusively a dh yeah we like it that's right byron buxton so as far as uh what we have next we have hunter brown i like hunter brown i know he hasn't been great so far this season he's had one outing he's got a 771 era he goes against tyler molly who i was saying to everybody to maybe draft tyler molly okay 180 phillies and the reds with uh bryson stott three uh capped the three run ninth with an rbi single as the phillies come out of nowhere and beat the Reds 3-2. to two. Well, Nick Lodolo struck out a career high, and he allowed three hits over seven shutout innings. He walked two batters over 106 pitches and left with a one nothing lead, so it really was the bullpen that allowed this to yeah. happen. And the Phillies had no runs, three hits through eight innings. They got three runs and three hits in the ninth inning. And that was inning. their second straight win. Yep. Andrew go. Vasquez got the win. So let's talk a little bit about R- Rotorius was asking in the chat room. He wants to know who the Phillies' closer is. Yeah, go ahead. It's not Alvarado. 
I mean, yes, he's he's pitched three innings right now. He's got a zero ERA, but just look at his history as a closer. I've been on to this guy for years. I've drafted him several times, but he's such a disappointment, and he blows saves as much as he gets saves, so I don't think they're going to be putting him in the closer role, especially when they have guys like Soto, uh, Kimbrell, right. and Sir Anthony Dominguez. All three of them have a better record at getting saves than it's, Alvarado. So he's I think he's more of a setup guy. If you're in a holds league, he's probably good. But other than that, and I don't think that's going to happen. You looked up Bryce Elder for him. What about Bryce yeah, Elder? Yeah, but baseball is becoming so much. Uh, it's, a, it's about winning, okay? It's not about fantasy baseball. It's about winning. Well, what the hell does that have to do with the conversation because you, about? you put a committee in there, lefty, righty, who's hot, I mean, come on, Kimbrell's going to get the most saves because he has the biggest contract and the I most experience. Know. That's, that's th- my opinion. But they don't but have so a lot. Far, of, they don't have a lot of confidence in Craig Kimbrell. Well, why would they I sign don't. him for so much money then? If he was your only closer, would you be confident? No, I'm not saying he's going to be the only closer, but he's got the first shot at this. They signed okay. him to a decent sized contract. Okay. And he's getting paid more than anybody else on that team. And he also has the most experience. And he also now has two saves, I think. So, realistically speaking, they're going to give him the first chance until he screws up, which there's a good chance he will. I'm not saying he's great. Mm-hmm. But what mm-hmm. about Bryce Elder? What about him? He, he doesn't have... Uh... He doesn't light up the radar gun with overpowering stuff. Yeah, but he's pretty good. He's clocking around 90, 91. He does a good job of keeping the ball on the ground with a sinking fastball. He's going to be good, but don't forget they've got Max Fried coming back. they got Kyle Wright uh, right Kyle now. Kyle Wright is not as good as him. And they're both on the shelf, so let's see. He'll have a chance to perform. I think Elder uh, could be Rotorius okay. hates Kimbrell, by the way. Well, obviously, okay. because if you didn't hate Kimbrell, you wouldn't be questioning the closer job in Philly. Anthony D.B. Miller has arrived. Good morning to <laughs> the great Anthony D.B. Miller. Let's- Spencer, Steer, Spencer Steer hit a home run yesterday, too. Okay, so. let's give him credit for that. It's against Barry. Tonight is Connor Overton against Taiwan Walker. Now, okay. let's talk about Kansas City, San Francisco, my Go friend. Ahead. You're my friend. <laughs> for the moment. The Royals scored five unanswered runs, and they stun the Giants. Giants have become a powerhouse. Guess who a hit team. a homer yesterday? Who? Guess. Salvatore Perez. Brand Mill. Oh, we'll get to him in a second. <laughs> Did we skip Fran Mill? <laughs> I'm not oh, skipping no, no, Fran Mill. I, I okay? know that. No way. But Salvatore Perez had a tying three-run homer in the eighth, uh, and Kansas City rallied past the Giants six to five. Here's what happened. And Fran Mill, take it away. Here's Ms. what Fran happened. Mill. <clears throat> Kansas City was trailing five to one in the seventh inning. Fran Mill Reyes homers off a of Ross Stripling to cut the lead to three. And then Perez tied the game with a three-run homer off Stripling in the eighth. So Stripling got pummeled. And then guess who came in to get the save? Uh, Chapman? Yes, a roll All right, Chapman so let's go to the chat room. Save. If you have, who would you rather have? Well, Cra- anybody would rather have Barlow. Craig Kimbrell. Oh. Or a Roldis Chapman. Definitely. I bet you even Rotorius, who hates Kimbrell, would say that he would rather have Kimbrell over Chapman. Chapman pitched a scoreless ninth, got his first save. Okay. There we go, on so, his road back to the closer role. Would you rather Barlow's have pretty good. Chapman or Kimbrell? Come on, let's go, chat room. Let's see what you got, okay? Uh, Anthony D.B. Miller, Boston Paul, Brewer Jim, Daniel Ferrara, James Caplion. Fran Mill uh, and Frenchy. King Hap. Oh, wait. Look at the chat room. What? Boston Paul says Manessas sucks. Wait a second. What the hell happened, dude? He's, he's after me, okay? Kimberl over Chapman. Rather have Chapman. Wow, I'll tell you what. That could be a controversy. We'll keep track of that. Also, you know Bobby Witt, homer for Kansas City? They clinched their first series of uh, win of the season. Uh, but their team is hitting 187. They're hitting 187? Yeah, they, they still clinched their first series victory. That's their second series of the right. season, or third. They are hitting 187. 
And guess who hit a home run into McCovey Cove? Lamont. Lamont hit it, all right? <laughs> We're just going to call him Lamont. And the Lamont Giants Wade. lost their first two home games for the first time since 2015. Mm-hmm. I like Sean Mania. He went to Indiana State University. Well, I like all San, San Francisco pitchers. Well, Mania pitched six dominant innings, first start for the Giants. He limited Kansas Wait. City. What? Go ahead. To one run, three hits, eight strikeouts, but did not factor into the decision. Roberto Perez was placed on the 60-day injured list with a rotator cuff strain. Austin yeah. Wins was selected from AAA Sacramento to replace him on the roster. Joey Bart began a rehab assignment with AAA Sacramento. He was scheduled to catch six innings last night, so he's on his way back. And tonight we have Chris Bubik against Anthony D. Sclefani. And don't forget... Now's the time to pick up Gary Sanchez. No, it's you better yes. be putting yeah, Steve you, Sclafani in your roster, dude. You got dude. Bart, Rehab, you got uh, uh, Perez. I'm telling you, Sanchez is going to get a chance. Why would Sanchez, is Sanchez, Sanchez is going to get a chance? He's on the Giants. Right. Yeah. But that's only because Roberto Perez went on the injured list. And, and Joey, Joey Bart. Bart is about ready to come back. Try Sanchez. He, pit, he caught six innings last night. He's almost... I, I'm first of all, Sanchez is probably drafted in a lot of leagues. Okay, but uh, wisdom and steel helped the Cubs beat Texas ten to three. Steel pitched six. Steel is a good pitcher, and we told you this weeks ago. Patrick Wisdom hit a home run. Uh, Trey Mancini. Is Eddie here? He's probably at church. Yes, probably. Trey at Mancini. Happy at- Easter Sunday to everybody. Trey Mancini, three of Chicago's 14 hits yesterday. Covey's yep. third consecutive win. And Swanson is batting, what, he's 12 for 28. In his first in seven his games. In his first seven games. Yeah, he 429 signed, average. Yeah, signed that $180 million. The Rangers committed 70. five errors. Oh, they did. Okay. And their fourth loss in five games. They've managed just three runs and ten hits through the first two games of the weekend set at Wrigley Field. All right, because of the great turnout here on an Easter Sunday morning, we will be doing a video. Lady in the Legend video, okay? You going to wear a hairpiece? Oh, my God. Are you? Yes. (laughs) I am. What are you looking at? Just some of the stuff that comes out of your mouth, it's like a freaking toddler. You're like a freaking toddler. Mm-hmm. You know that as you old, he's 75. He acts like a toddler more okay. and more every year. Uh, Toddlers say anything that comes to their mind. That's what I do. So I Perez permitted three runs, two earned, five hits. Uh, first home were allowed by uh, Perez in 62 innings. That was the uh, <laughs> longest active streak in the majors. Kyle Hendricks threw live batting practice at the team's facility in Arizona on Friday. He said he felt really good. He sent some positive text messages to some of the pitching guys. He hasn't pitched in a major league game since No, last- you didn't miss the White Sox recap. Go ahead. Sorry. Uh, Go ahead. Anyway, Kyle Hendricks threw live batting practice. He's mm-hmm. on his way back. Seiya Suzuki and Brandon Hughes each made a rehab appearance with AAA, and Suzuki went one for one with a walk and a sacrifice fly. How could he go one for one with a walk and a sacrifice fly? Because a walk and a sacrifice count- fly don't count as at best. Come on, lady. Okay. Tonight, John Gray and Jameson Tyon. Yep. That's where they go. And Jake Odorizzi oh, yeah, we is going to miss the season. I told everybody that yesterday. Okay, he was acquired in a trade with Atlanta in November. Jake Odorizzi. All right, we're going to get to the White Sox in just a few minutes. But first, the Red Sox played the Tigers with Rafael Devers homering twice. His fifth career grand slam drove in five. The Red Sox led by King Hap. Beat the Tigers. No, it's 14. led by Taco. Led by Taco. Come on, Taco. Every once in a while, you got to just say hello. King Happ is not the leader of the Red Sox. The King Happ is Boston not the leader. Paul might be. That's right. Uh, our Devers Grand Slam, six runs, second inning. Adam Duvall. Yay, Adam Duvall. He's the player of the year so far. I love this guy. Two run homer, doubled twice, scored three runs. That's his fourth uh, homer of the yep. season, okay? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Boston has scored nine or more runs in four of its eight games. Okay. Ramil Tapia had a pinch of two-run homer. Yeah. And Tanner Houck. Tanner Houck. Tanner Houck. 
two runs and three hits in five innings. What do you think of Tanner Houck? I think he's he's a number. I'm glad to see him pitching five innings. Yeah, but he's a number four pitcher. He'll have he's a good number four. His good game will be two runs, three hits, and five innings. That's going to be what you're hoping for. Detroit's lost three straight. They've been outscored 58 to 26 during a two and six wow. start, and is hitting 199. 199. Not hitting well. That's with Riley Green driving in two runs. Garrett Hill relieved. Devers hit a long home run over left field. And Duvall's fourth homer increased the lead to 8 nothing. And we talked about uh, Austin Meadows. They're talking in the chat room about, about Garrett Whitlock, who's got that bad hip. He's expected to be activated on Tuesday and is expected to start against Tampa. He threw 81 pitches in a rehab. Looks okay. So there you go. The answer to, I know uh, the Red Sox might not win tonight. They're putting up this right-handed pitcher Cutter Crawford, who's got a fifteen seven five ERA so far. He surrendered seven runs in four innings against Pittsburgh <laughs> in his season debut on Monday, and he's going up against lefty Matt Boyd, who has a four fifteen ERA. Boyd gave up two runs in four and a third innings in his season debut at Houston. So I'm taking Boyd in this. You don't hear me saying that very often. Doesn't Boyd give up a bunch of home runs in the second half? Yes, he does. Boyd is not a good second half pitcher. Okay. Marlins in the Mets. We talked about Francisco Alvarez. He was out of the lineup again. He was called up by the Mets on Friday, but he hasn't received a start in the first two games. But he is going to get the start today. And Kodai Senga won his fantastic home debut and Pete Alonso and Eduardo Escobar both hit home runs. Yeah, and I'll tell you what. Met fans are just killing Escobar. Why? Because they want to see this other youngster come up, no, Brett Beatty. Yeah, Brett That's Beatty. what it is. Yes, and then as soon as Beatty goes into a, a little slump, they're going to want Escobar back. Well, the Mets fans aren't quite as crazy as the Yankees fans, okay? You see, they, what they're many used fans to losing. don't know is Escobar is a huge clubhouse guy. Yes. And that is very important. I go back to the days where Troy Percival and Cliff Floyd were signed by Tampa, uh, and people said, oh, they're at the end of their careers. But what they did as professionals, they made Tampa a very competitive operation. Very competitive. Single walk three, struck out six, four strikeouts came on his ghost fork. For a ghost pitch. What the hell is that? I have no idea. I gotta nasty. watch this guy. It's a nasty fork ball. What is Major League debut? Uh, David Robertson. Wait. I gotta wait. Don't wait. I get to David Robertson and I want to puke. He got a second save of the season. Yes. One, two, three, ninth inning. And Why do he, you puke? This is one of the worst things that can happen to a fantasy player. Why? Last year, I had a choice of a closer. And it was David Robertson uh, or somebody else. And I forget who the other guy was. I can only tell you the other guy, I don't even know who he is anymore. But David Robertson, so not only last year did I lose out on Robertson, but it was a keeper league, and I couldn't keep him. And then he went one, two, three ninth for a second save. So I'll tell you, it's just... Well, you uh, couldn't have kept him. I mean, Edwin Diaz was going to be their closer. There, There is no chance that Robertson was well, going to Well, that's get... a good point. That's a good point. But I know that Chaz Chisholm, two outstanding catches. He's got a new position. Center field. All right. He's not a center. He should be in second. Alonzo, I told you, two-run homer. It was his fourth homer in the last three games and fifth of the season. He, he might lead the league in homers. And then Escobar pumped up. The fans are booing him. He still him. has a point oh eight three. Yeah, I know. Oh eight three. The fans are killing him. Now, the Mets have not made an error this year. It's the longest stretch to begin a season in franchise history. Okay. The first time City Field... Okay, it's the first time in City Field that the first two home games of the season have been sellouts. I don't know how people are affording to pay for parking there. Have we been to City Field? Yeah, I've been there once with you and once by my with another girl. Who? I love their food there. Who? Another girl? I can't remember her name. <laughs> okay. But the food is excellent at City Field. They have the best food ever. Braxton Garrett will be back. The lefty. Trevor one. Rogers, four and two thirds innings, sorry, five sorry. strikeouts, six ERA. He's 0 and 2 now. I had a lot of faith in him going into the season, but he's not panning out. Although I'm not ready to give up on him yet. I'm not ready to give up on anybody that I drafted. 
in the first half of the draft. There's just, you can't give up on these people yet. I mean, you know, Malpal brought up Brandon Belt. Yeah, you know what? If you want to give up on Brandon Belt, that's fine. He costs you nothing, basically. So when we do our video, are you going to take a shower? What are, you know what? <laughs> are you going to take a shower before the video? Yes, Leonard. Uh -oh. I'm going to take a shower before the video. Very good. As if that matters to anybody. You sit next you think, to me. You sit I'll next be upstairs doing it. Okay, all right. Braxton Garrett comes back into the Miami rotation, starting in place of Johnny Cueto. Seventh overall pick in 2006. Actually, I have to sit next to you so I can flip you off. Right? Okay. Uh, Francisco Alvarez is going to make a start. We said that three times today. It's so move important. On. All it's right. not that important. Uh, A's against Tampa. Uh, winning streak, eight games for Tampa. They, ex they beat the A's 11 0. So it's, it's not just. Yes, they played. Malpal made a great Mal point. Malpal's right, yeah. They played some crappy teams so far, but when you beat a team eight, 11 0. Nothing, I mean, yep. they're just crushing these teams. And Tampa extended their Jeffrey major Jeffrey Springs. Can I finish a sentence? Best start in 20 years. Go. All right. It's all so, yours. Okay, you do this game. You can say can anything you share? want. Yes, we can share. Go ahead. I just don't know why we have to say again that they have the best start in 20 years. Okay. Jeffrey Springs, seven innings, three hits. Randy Rosarina, four RBIs. No and, team has won eight straight by the. I mean, I'll tell you what, Tampa. You just you kind of talk about them. Isaac Paredes, Brandon Lau, hit RBI. Uh, had three RBIs. I love each. Brandon Lau. And Springs is a good pitcher. He a very good pitcher. He's coming off six uh, no hit innings in his season debut against Detroit. So as Malpal says, temper your enthusiasm. Shintaro sure. Fujinami not panning out reminds me of Dice K. He's 0-2. He allowed five runs, three hits, four walks, and hit batter over four and a third innings in his second start. He didn't allow a hit until the fourth inning, so maybe this guy just needs to be pulled out after three innings. That's right. In his first outing on April 1st, he allowed eight runs over two and a third innings, so <laughs> that erases my my idea there. Well, okay. that, but next time he starts, he could go up against Kodai Senga, both from that, Jap Japan. That could be a good one. Oakland had just three hits and lost seven of eight, batting 209. The team ERA is seven. Manny Margot hit a solo homer. Mm -hmm. Did we do? Oh, uh, uh, let's uh, skip to the. No, let's go. All right, let's just go in order. Go ahead. I wanted to make sure that we didn't do the uh, White Sox yet. We're going to do Mariners in Cleveland. Mariners edge the the Guardians. I can't call them the Guardians. Stupid. And Quantrill got a rare home loss. Eugenio Suarez drove in two runs. Marco Gonzalez, another strong start. Seattle got to Quantrill early. And, uh, yeah, that's... interesting this. Yeah. Cal Quantrill, his first home loss since 2019. And it's not just random. It's 34 regular season starts at Progressive Field and 36 dating back to San Diego. Right. But he was quick to point out that his home streak officially ended last season with a loss in Game 4 of the American League Division Series to New York. But still, we're talking about regular season games. This guy hasn't lost a start at home for 36 regular season starts. And the Mariners led the majors with 32 one-run wins last <laughs> One-run wins in 2022. They won 33 of those contests. Usually, wait in in two thousand twenty one they had they won thirty three one run games, yeah, but last year thirty two. Usually, won when a team excels at one run games, the following year it evens out. That's well, the history of baseball. It's not happening. Not happy. Go. You have a chicken bone under your desk, Leonard. Do you just throw stuff on the floor when I don't you're done know. eating? I didn't see that. Good. Paul great. Seawald came on in the ninth. Got his second save in two days. And, uh, you know, look, this Rodriguez kid, one of just three players in history, to hit 30 homers and steal 20 bases in his first 140 career games. Daryl Strawberry and Fernando Tatis. Okay, this is it. an important injury update. Tristan McKenzie will be reevaluated today. He's been sidelined with strained 
teres major. That's his shoulder muscle. That's the same thing Verlander is on the bench for. And it's possible he could be out two months. But he was 11 and 11 last season with a 296 ERA and 30 starts. And tonight we get to see George Kirby. Hopefully he'll right the wrong that he did last week. And he's up against Zach Plesak, which should be pretty easy for him since Zach Plesak only lasted one inning in his season debut last week. SM King Turd, how we doing? It's good to see you. Yasmani Grandal, Luis Robert Jr., Oscar Colas had two hits. Uh, Chicago beat Pittsburgh 11 to 5. Tim Anderson, Andrew Benatendi, Andrew Vaughn all had two hits, hits each. The White Sox ended a two game losing streak. Elvis Andrus drove in two runs. Chicago, and 14 Don't kill hit- me. I, I, I kind of picked Velasquez yesterday. I'm not doing good on my pitching picks. So Why would you? Okay. I. You can't go with the favorites all the time. Velasquez, just give me one reason why you would tell somebody I've, to put I've, Velasquez on their daily lineup. I've been I've been on him for a couple of years. Uh, Chicago, 14. We both have him. We both know how sucky he can yeah, be. Yeah, 14 hits against Velasquez and four relievers. Uh, two the White Sox have had at least 10 hits in all six road games this season. Oh, boy. How about that? Yeah, he lasted just two and two-thirds. He struggled with his command. You know Why? This is the same reason he struggles with this command every year, because he has a whole bunch of pitches and he has no clue when to use them. Clevenger was a, a middling performance. He was better than what they've had. Yes, he gave up four runs in five and a third. Uh, we talked about Andrew and, McCutcheon. Uh, phenomenal, okay? Emotional. Phenomenal. Uh, he had three hits yesterday, including uh, his first home run. Michael Kopech goes against Joan Oviedo. Uh, you know, Kopech tied his career high, gave up seven runs in his first start. Well, what of the do you season. think? What is he going to do tonight, Kopech? I, don't know. I listen. I'm off the Kopech bandwagon. He's another one with mental anxieties. Yeah, Stanton hit a home run. Volpe triple. Wait, the Yankees you, topped the Orioles. Come on, man. Away. What? Carlos Santana deserves some love. All right, go ahead. He had three hits and drove in two runs on his 37th birthday. You're right, Volpe. Okay. Back to the Yankees. We talked oh, about all the fans want him back now. Yeah, he tripled. You got a triple. It was his first big league extra base hit. Okay, Cole Irwin walked four batters in four and two thirds. He's not fantasy relevant. Brito was recalled in Triple A. Three hits, five innings. We'll see about that. Uh, Wandy Peralta pitched the eighth. Clay Holmes got his second save. Yeah. Clay yeah. Holmes, second save. Yeah. Santander, first inning, sacrifice fly, drove in a run. Now, the Yankees, as we mentioned before, they called up Calhoun to replace Donaldson. Hicks's days have to be numbered. He'd appeared in only three of New York's first seven games. The Yankees have a crowd. He did crowd, have a hit yesterday. But they got a crowded outfield. Judge, Stanton, Oswaldo Cabrera, Franchi Cordero, Isaiah kind of falefa What the hell? And they call up Calhoun? Well, kind of falafa isn't really an outfielder. It's nuts, man. Jorge Mateo was out of the lineup with a sore ankle. Tonight is Nestor Cortez, and he is the first of at least four straight left-handed starters the Orioles are expected to face against New York. Check out how how Oakland or the Orioles do against lefties and make your DFS picks accordingly. Nolan Arenado, a definite Hall of Famer. Hits his 300th home run. The Cardinals blanked the Brewers 6 0. Uh, Jordan Walker also went deep. There you go. Can't leave that out. All right. The Cardinals end their four game losing streak and snap the Brewers' six game winning streak. So the Cardinals entered Saturday with a four game losing streak in which they totaled only seven runs and had never led in any game, any of those four. So. Lauer is the one who gave up both home runs. And Jordan Montgomery struck out nine. Finally, I, one of my guys comes through. He's 2-0. and oh. He's good. So look, I knocked myself for Velasquez. I knocked myself for Giolito. I'm going to hug myself for Jordan Montgomery. I th- yes, it's a good. he's a good pitcher. He struck out nine. He allowed three hits and two walks and seven shutout mm-hmm. innings. Uh, Joey Weimer, though, deserves some love. He doubled in the third to extend his own hitting streak to seven games. Nobody's given Joey Weimer any love. Brewers, Joey Weimer. Lauer gave up six runs, seven hits, and three walks in four innings. He struck out four. 
And for injury updates, Adrian Hauser threw a bullpen session and will tr head to AAA Nashville today as he continues his recovery from a right groin strain. Tonight is Jake Woodford against Freddie Peralta. San Diego and Atlanta, Michael Walker. Ten strikes. Ten strikes. Soto hit his first home run. The Padres beat the Braves. Four to one. Yeah, Waka matched his career high with 10 strikeouts. Mm -hmm. He allowed only two hits, a double and a single by Matt Olson over six innings and walked one. Happy Easter Shane, Sunday, or everybody. Sean Murphy replaced Travis. Go ahead. Sean Murphy replaced Travis D'Arno after he had a collision with Rugnet Odor. Yep. So, Sean Murphy looks to be the guy getting the catching. And Murphy was a star. Yeah, he was. So, that He's trade. supposed to be a star. Yeah, two catchers. I mean, San Diego's Josh Hader walked Murphy, gave up a bloop single, and he then struck out uh, two batters, and uh, Hader struck out Orsia, got his third safe. All right. Okay. Jared, 15 strikeouts by Braves batters. Yeah. Jared Schuster, <clears throat> option to triple A. After he gave up four, he's not as good as some thought he would be. Why okay? do, well, I don't appreciate him getting called up, sent back down. He only gets they only get to do that a limited number of times That's now right. with the new CBA. So uh, also because Kyle Wright and Max Fried uh, are both out, D uh, Dylan Dodd will face the Padres. Seth Lugo, I like in Lugo. the in the final tonight. I actually like Lugo this okay. year. I really do. He's a good pitcher. I'm not so sure how good of a pitcher he'll be as a starter, but he's a good pitcher. All right, let's go. Diamondbacks ahead. beat L. A. We yeah. talked about this a little bit. Seventeen hits for the yeah. Diamondbacks. Right. Alec Thomas hit a second inning triple, snapping his 0 for 16 streak to start the season. He had actually four hits on the night, a triple, two runs scored, and an RBI. Kettle Marte and Geraldo Perdomo each hit two run homers. And the Diamondbacks came into the game hitting just 230 as a team, but 17 hits, including eight for extra bases. And everybody's fan favorite, Corbin Carroll, he scored twice <laughs> on singles. <laughs> both after stealing second base. The Arizona Diamondbacks do run. In fact, Lourdes Gurriel scored on a sacrifice fly following what looked like a double that he stretched into a triple. Gurriel, Marte, and Josh Rojas all had three hits. We told you about James Outman, 423-foot, two-run homer. It was his third homer in nine games. But the Diamondbacks bounced back because there you go. And here's the thing. J.D. Martinez is hitting pretty well. He hit two doubles yesterday. That's five on the season. And so he is hitting, even if he's not hitting homers, he's hitting doubles. That's a great sign. Mookie Betts hit his fourth double yesterday. And Freddie Freeman hit two doubles yesterday for his fourth double of the season. And Kyle, Hayward wait hit a, a second. Run. Hold on a second. Just slow down. I'm trying to get everything in before you cut me off. Okay, Kyle Lewis put on the 10-day injury list. That hurts me. Nobody Michael, cares about Michael Kyle Grove Lewis. Michael will go with, against Ryan Nelson. Okay. Syndergaard went four innings, mm -hmm. eight hits, six earned runs, only two strikeouts, and two home runs allowed. Freeman finished with four hits. Jason Hayward hit a home run. There's a lot of hitting in this game. Yes. I told you Zach Davies left in the fifth inning. He has a strained left oblique. Yeah, okay. And, you know, he struggled with his command in the fourth inning, throwing 11 straight balls at one point. He gave up five runs on five hits in four and a third innings. He struck out three and walked four. Let's, when's the last time you... you one more uh, game, Leonard. No, two more games. Let's, all right, never mind. Uh, yeah. Stone Garrett, four hits, we five RBIs. We love Stone Garrett, don't we? Four hits, five RBIs. Homer doubled twice. Watch, it. Watch this kid. He was a triple shy of the cycle. And Trevor Williams allowed two runs, five hits, five and a third. Uh, for, the, for the Rockies of Lewis, six of seven. Ouch. And that's not Austin good. Gomer gave up seven hits in four and two thirds and issued a walk. Now, Garrett, we told you about him. He went four for five, home run, two doubles, all this stuff. Garrett was recalled from AAA last, last Saturday and got his Sunday. second. Okay. <laughs> Come on, you gotta be. All right, Garrett was recalled from AAA last Sunday. Okay, 
and he got a second start of the season yesterday. So he's been up for a week, but yesterday was only a second start. I guarantee they're going to leave this guy in the lineup. You know why? Because if you hit, you're in the lineup. Now, let me tell you what he did last year. He had 32 homers, 106 RBIs, and 18 steals between the minors and the majors last season. This guy is worth a pickup in every single league. Oh, I White Sack Al is here. Sorry, White now, Sack Al. Good morning. Here's the downside. He spent nine years in the minors. Okay, nine seasons in the minors before he made it to the majors, but he does have raw speed and power. And his biggest problem is that he doesn't have great plate discipline. But yeah. I will tell you once again, Stone Garrett should be picked up in most leagues because if he continues to hit like he did last year and like he's doing this year, he will get in the lineup without a doubt. Chris Bryant, nine-game hitting streak, the longest for the Rockies since D.J. LeMay, who did it in 2016. And also Carlos Gonzalez. Uh, Luis Garcia was out of the lineup. He had a bad hammy. C.J. Cron, late scratch. He He's had flu -like. the He had the flu. How do we know? Is it flu or COVID? Yeah. It's all the same? Last so, game. Well, last year they would have called this COVID. Last game, Toronto and the Angels. <laughs> Mike Trout, three-run homer. Angels beat... Toronto. Mark's coming over at 11. Okay. That's good. Mike Trout hit a three-run homer in the fifth inning. The Angels roar back from a four-run deficit. They beat Toronto. Bo Bichette and Matt Chapman hit two-run homers. George Springer also homered. And it was a Blue Jays four-game winning streak as it ended. And Anthony Rendon. Back from his suspension. Back. He's he had two singles. He's back from his suspension. So, yeah, because he tried to fight uh, And so, Joey, listen to this. Wait. Tyler Anderson stunk it up yesterday. I'm so glad I had him on the bench. Okay. I'm so glad. And it was a total accident that I did have him on the bench. Okay? Joey Adele has now homered in five consecutive games for AAA Salt Lake City. Yeah, okay. that's great, right? The Angels, he was a former first-round pick. Started the season, and here's the biggest news of the day. Uh, Kikuchi against Detmers. Kikuchi takes them out. Toronto wraps up 10-game streak on the road because they were doing something to Rogers Center. It was so stupid. Uh, Kikuchi against Reed Detmers. I'm taking Detmers. I'm taking... Kikuchi has pitched well, but I'm not... Y you know what? You go ahead and tell people you like Kikuchi. Thanks to Anthony D.B. Miller, Boston Paul, Brewer Jim, Daniel Ferrara, James Kaplan, Kaplan, King Hap, Laura Malpel, Roto Lady, SM King Turd, Triple Play, White Sock Gal made it in, and I thank you all, and we want to say Happy Easter to everybody. Thanks for supporting us, and I'll be back tomorrow at 9 o'clock. Anything you want to say? No. Goodbye, everybody. Happy Thanks. Easter.